So a lot of people have been saying that Zen is going to either make or break AMD. And there might be some truth to that, but the thing that really is going to make or break AMD is Zen speed. So how fast is Zen going to be? Well, let's find out. So there is one disclaimer before I actually start showing you guys the math behind the theory. Processors do not have a measurable static number of instructions per cycle. Different instructions take different amounts of time on the same processor. So the number of instructions a CPU handles per cycle is different for every workload. This basically means that IPC differs from program to program. But knowing this, we can still kind of ballpark where Zen will perform. Also, all of my math is based on Cinebench 11.5 benchmarks. So we're actually going to skip over Bulldozer and go straight to Piledriver specifically the FX8320 clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. Let's have PileDriver also be our controlled variable. So we're gonna say its IPC is 100. Steamroller is about 10% faster than PileDriver, so that means its IPC is 110. And Excavator is about 5% faster than Steamroller, so its IPC is about 115.5. Based on what AMD said about Zen, Zen is going to be about 40% faster in single-threaded applications than Excavator. So if we do the math, Zen's IPC will end up being 161.7, about. So just make sure you keep all of these numbers in mind because we will be going back to them. So now let's look at the Intel side of things. We're going to skip over Sandy Bridge and go straight to Ivy Bridge since Ivy Bridge and PodDriver were released around the same time. We're specifically going to be using the i7-3770K clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. Ivy Bridge is about 49.5% faster in single-threaded applications than PileDriver, so that means its IPC starting off is 149.5, while Haswell is about 4.73% faster than Ivy Bridge, so its IPC is 156.6. Broadwell is 6.45% faster than Haswell, so its IPC is about 166.7. And finally, Skylake, the last iteration that we have out right now, is about 4.24% faster than Broadwell. So its IPC is 173.7. So now that we have the IPC calculations for both sides of the spectrum, let's kind of compare them. So as you can see, PileDriver to Excavator was getting handedly beat by anything Intel offered. Well, if we look at Zen, its IPC is 161.7. Well, that puts it right in the middle of Haswell and Broadwell. So if things are stacking up the way they're supposed to be, Zen is looking pretty promising. So if you guys liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, please let me know what I can do to improve. And if you loved it, feel free to subscribe. I will have a lot of videos coming out soon just like these, and I have a few videos on my channel right now that you can watch. So without any further ado, I'll see you guys later. Peace.